We are driving on the Blue Ridge Parkway headed to Crabtree Falls in North Carolina. All right, we have one and a half miles to Crabtree Falls. Let's go see what it's all about. We've got our day two of hiking. Him and Andrew slept in until noon today, so we always get a late start. Whatever, man. It's a Monday. All right, we're walking up to the amphitheater, which is right near the campground parking lot. Crabtree Falls Campground has tent or RV camping. They also have flush toilets as well as a dump station and drinking water. Each campsite has a grill slash firing and picnic table. There are 27 sites available for advanced reservations and 54 campsites that are available as first come first serve. This 253 acre recreation area is near the Crabtree Falls Trail, Mount Mitchell State Park, Green Knob Lookout Tower, the Museum of North Carolina Minerals, and the Overmountain Victory Trail. The season opens May 24th and closes October 28th. All campsites are $20 from what I can tell online. However, there is no shower, no electricity, water, or sewer hookups available. If you're feeling a little bit more bougie or want a little bit more comfort, I highly recommend watching our Davidson River Campground video. It was an amazing time and they had great facilities as well. Crabtree Falls is along the Blue Ridge Parkway mile post 339.5 to 340.2. These 60 foot falls can be accessed by two different trails. The first route is gonna be 1.8 miles round trip to the falls and back, or the two and a half to three mile trail round trip for the entire loop. May is prime time to see the gorgeous pink crab tree blossoms and a bunch of other wildflowers on display. Now for the falls. If you enjoy these videos just as much as we enjoy making them, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. More details in the description below. I'm gonna keep making the circle around. We're gonna make the loop instead of going back the way we came, but the agreement was I'd wear the backpack and Andrew would take Wallaby, which I think is fair. And I wanna be very clear, I have offered to take one or the other many times. I will say Andrew refuses to wear it strapped to his waist, but it helps distribute the weight way better. So, also, we bring way too much unnecessary sh but sorry, that's how I am. The second part of the loop after you get to the falls is in fact strenuous like suggested. It gets steep, narrow, and muddy. Andrew almost fell, as you can see here. Bring water for you, bring water for your dog, bring some snacks, bring some really good hiking shoes, waterproof shoes, and just be prepared there's no bathrooms along the way there's no garbage cans along the way pack in and pack out please leave no trace once again i'm always astounded on the accessibility affordability and sheer beauty of the carolinas i'm from florida and it is so stressful trying to get to the beach normally they're incredibly crowded parking isn't free and it's a nightmare this is just such a dream come true we're gonna take a rest here for a minute because we know the car isn't too far Hike. Well, what was your impression of it all? That was beautiful out here. I love it. Gotta come back. Yeah, more stuff to see. Camp out here sometime. Yeah, I want to use the camera. What'd you think, Gunner? I'm gonna put my poles in. These aren't the fanciest, but they get the job done. I'm happy with them. I'm sure if someone's like a master backcountry hiker, they would laugh at these, but whatever, man, they work for me. Gunner's still enjoying himself. Gunner does not care. We're back. We're like one of the last cars here. I think we might be some of the last people here. Thank you so much for all the love and support. More ways to show support include following us on Instagram, 
subscribing to our Patreon, and to just simply keep watching our videos. If you keep watching, we'll keep making them. This should go without saying by now, but I love saying it. Don't get bamboozled.